Hey guys, Kama here. I got a request to make a stopwatch, so I'll just show you how it works here. That's to start it, and it'll count, and it actually keeps uh, count to the tenth place. That's to stop it, and then this is reset. It's actually uh, really simple. This is the only uh, redstone involved. Um, you can see it does use command blocks though, and there's no pistons on the display system, and this is the only redstone uh, back here. The way it works is with uh, locking repeaters, and they kind of the signal kind of goes around in a circle here, and then um, once it makes a full cycle, it'll hit this which then basically tells the next digit to cycle and then once this makes a complete cycle after that's made 10 this one will go ahead and uh, tell this one to go ahead and cycle and it just keeps uh, working down the chain like that so you could have uh, an infinite number of these it's just however many you're willing to put in and it, it does update the display like every tenth of a second so you can see it counting. Um, this right here is the most complicated part and I actually this is my second attempt at a tutorial so I'll try it again. Um, I'll show you how to build uh, this thing here this is basically just what um, does the counting and stores the uh, value of what number the display is supposed to be displaying. You can see I broke something over here. So five repeaters in a line, and those repeaters are going to be going into blocks. You could use, no, they have to be blocks. And then you're going to have blocks right here, and repeaters facing into those repeaters. And then this is going to come down one, go up like that, come out this way. Like that. And then repeater, 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 repeater. there and you don't need that you can put blocks here and then repeaters into those repeaters and then you're gonna put this line right here and you're gonna break every other block and then you're gonna go ahead and put redstone on top like that And then this will connect into that, and this will connect into that. So, all of these repeaters are now controlled by that block right there. The way it works is, you'll see that this, um, when this is on, it'll be displaying zero, and then um, this will... Uh, well, it takes one tick anyway, so you don't need a timer on this. But it'll cycle through like that. And then it'll just stop it wherever it's at because it has a locking repeater. And the reset part of it is the most complicated part. And that's because it requires... Um, well, I'll show you how to actually start it. So you have the rest of them locked. You need to um, keep this one unlocked, so that's, that's what this block does. And then put a pulse in, and go ahead and lock it. So now you have, um, you have an on locked inside of it somewhere. And resetting it just basically makes sure that it's at zero. 
and then it'll go around. And then to stop it, it gets rid of this block right here. That's actually an orange block. Um, and then, so, uh, this is what gets it to carry over to the next line or set of digits. That's right here. And it uses command blocks to do everything. It just uses the uh, set block command and the clone command. So if you don't know what those are, um, I'll probably just link a video so you can learn what those are. Um, if you already know what those are, then you're fine. So, and if you don't know how to get a command block, all you have to do is slash give your um, your player name 137 maybe it's 134 no is it command block Yeah, there we go. Command block. Um, and we put two right there. And um, this command is set block to air. And what that does is it sets um, wherever your redstone block is on top of your next digit. You're going to put the coordinates in for that and set that to air. And then two ticks later, you're going to set it back to a redstone block. And so um, these do exactly the same thing, but they control that block. And these two do exactly the same thing, but they control that block. And so that's how you get um, that's how you get it to propagate through all the digits once it's completed a cycle. So this is how you build the counter. That's how you get it to um, cycle to the next one. And so you just line sets of these up, and it'll count. The only thing you need to put in are command blocks here. Or you could put them on top. Doesn't matter. Um, but what those do, they clone um, numbers and put them on the display. So this one, it clones uh, this point to this point, and it places it at this point right here. So it'll grab um, the zero and then place it right here. And then this block right here will grab a zero, but it will place it right here instead. And so that's uh, how that works. Let me get some sunlight back. And so um, th that's really simple. But the complicated part is the reset line. And this is hard to explain, but basically it has to work in this exact order. And so I suggest coloring things the same way I've colored them. Um, oh, by the way, um, this is the uh, stop and this is start. And so what those do, um, so to start it, all it does is sets this block to air, and then it'll go around, and to stop it, it just sets it back to a redstone block. Really simple. But the reset line does a lot of things. First, it's going to clear the propagate blocks in all four digits. So this, um, this block controls the first digit, this block will control the second digit, third, and fourth. And so if you have um, more digits, say you're counting to like 24 hours, you're going to need uh, more space here to put more command blocks on uh, this orange spot right here. So 
these clear the propagate blocks, which basically just um, remove that. So make sure that those command uh, yeah those command blocks, of course the coordinates you put into them um, control wherever this block is on your design or build, because these are specific to my world. And then it inserts the carry stop block, and I colored this yellow because. I don't know, they're just arbitrary colors. But um, it has to insert a redstone block. And I'll show you here where all of the colors are. So you've got orange right here. And then the yellow one is right here. But that's actually going to be a uh, redstone block. So it's colored yellow over there, but it actually spawns a redstone block. And then, same for right here, it's colored to blue, but it spawns a redstone block. Um, right here, it's green over there, but it could actually be whatever you want it to be. Same for that. They're just color-coded, so it's easier. And then I also have uh, this. This is, So it only controls um, four different blocks to reset it but the order in which it does things is the important part. So after it's destroyed the propagate block, it goes ahead and inserts the carry stop block. And so what that'll do is place a block right here. Then, it will insert a repeater isolation block, which is that green block right there. And then three ticks after, that's really important. So if you have um, a ton of digits and you need to extend this uh, signal right here because you have so many command blocks that it won't, um, it won't reach, then um, you can go ahead and put a repeater there to extend the signal. Just make sure that this is three ticks after um, this has to be three ticks after everything else behind it. So once it inserts the repeater isolation block, three ticks later, it's going to clear the redstone blocks. And those are the blocks up on top. So it'll go ahead and get rid of those. And then um, minimum 20 ticks, but I put 22 just to be safe. 22 ticks later, it's going to insert the propag propagate block back. So it's going to go ahead and put this orange block back. Back right there. And then it's going to put the um, redstone blocks back right there. And then it's going to remove the. Come on. I get graphic lag sometimes for some reason. It'll go ahead and remove that. And then it will spawn in um, a redstone block right here where that blue block was. Right there. And then it'll go ahead and put that green block back. No. Then it'll go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, oh. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put everything back so you can see what they'll what they do. Actually I'm gonna need that. So you've got a redstone block there. I just use red wool because I don't want it on. Same there. So you're going to have... Um, that's actually going to be a redstone block. This is actually going to be a redstone block. And this is actually going to be a redstone block. But they're just colored to uh, red, yellow, and blue on the reset line. And so once it goes through that uh, reset command, then it'll have the... Uh, the on will be on the zero for every single digit. And so um, 
use this guide to see like where the blocks are supposed to be um, like what the command blocks are supposed to be affecting in each digit so whatever that coordinate is make sure that the um, command blocks on the yellow command are actually corresponding to this block in all of the digits and same with all the other colors um, since it is command block based it's kind of hard to do like an actual block by block tutorial but um, I'll go ahead and show you the order that you need to make sure you get the command uh, the commands in for the reset so you clear propagate insert a carry block stop and that's going to be a redstone block you're going to insert a repeater isolation block and then three ticks later you're going to clear the redstone blocks on top and then 20 ticks later minimum you're going to insert a, the propaga propagate block back and then you're going to go ahead and put those redstone blocks back on top and then three ticks later you're going to insert the redstone pulse block which um, basically sets everything to zero and then one tick later you're going to clear that isolation block and then one tick later you're going to clear the redstone pulse block and then one tick later you're going to clear the carry stop block um, I will provide a world download so that you can see this order or you could just watch the video back um, this is kind of more of a intuitive tutorial which is kind of contradictory but you you do need a, a good understanding of redstone or at least command blocks you need to know the clone command and the set block command and then just getting the resets in the correct order and this should actually be a real, really easy build um, you can make these numbers look however you want and you can put them wherever you want just make sure that you get the correct coordinates when you're going to clone them and so just to show you you can um, change this and then you'll see that it does actually spawn that redstone block there because I've changed um, the thing it's copying and now it's gone and now I need my redstone block again and then I'll go ahead and stop it and so the time that elapsed was 15.2 seconds and you can you can actually just um, start it back from where it left off and go ahead and stop it again and then reset and it's back to zero uh, ooh. can't forget that Um, and you'll see here I only have uh, it's half the size because this only counts to five right here because there's only 59 seconds in a minute so there's no point in putting anything higher in that digit actually you can't because well you could but then it would be really difficult to get it to reset because it only needs to go through uh, six different values for that location so and then here there's 10, 10, and 10. So the next spot would probably be 10. And then you start counting into the hundreds of minutes and so on. I think that's about it for this. Just make sure you do get the uh, reset line in the correct order and that all of the coordinates are corresponding to where you have um, all of these blocks. Um, this is a really simple thing to build. The hardest part is probably just putting all of the commands in the command blocks. So um, these command blocks are clone commands. On the outside of this, those are all clone commands. These are set block commands, which set um, this block to air and redstone. Um, these do the same thing but to that block these do the same thing but to that block and if I had another digit I would have um, command blocks here as well 
um, the start button just I'm lagging again the start button just removes or it sets this to air and then to stop it you just set that back to a redstone block so here um, any time basically this right here this space right here is what you're going to be um, typing in to setting that to so you have your coordinate in and then you have what you're setting it to and so this you see I have a redstone block here so these are setting it to a redstone block so that's the data value for a redstone block and then here this is uh, for green wool it's wool 5 and then here setting it to air because there's air right there here you can assume we're setting it to uh, orange wool which is wool 1 and then redstone redstone air 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 so that's kind of how you can read that um, my suggestion would be to get the world download and look at um, the commands inside of all the command blocks um, if you don't really know exactly what I'm talking about but this is actually it's not very complicated if you understand what command blocks do and it's a really easy way to get a stopwatch So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.